I want to start today by throwing it over to you, the viewer, the listener. I want to ask what you think about Britain taking Ukrainian refugees. We are witnessing a proper war. There can be no doubt about that. The Ukrainians are putting up a tremendous fight and showing immense resilience and bravery. They're also running an incredibly slick online propaganda machine that makes it look like they might actually be winning. But when all is said and done, facts are facts, and the Russian military is a behemoth. It is a David versus Goliath situation. And one has to assume that, unless both sides sit down at the negotiating table very soon and thrash out a deal, eventually Russia will hoist its flag above Kiev's government's buildings. That will be a very, very dark day indeed. So there will be millions of Ukrainian refugees. Are we full here in the UK right now? Have we got room for at least some of them? Do we have a moral duty to throw open our borders? Have we already extended the hand of charity far enough? What's happening now does expose serious questions about our asylum system that many of us have been talking about for years. For a long time now, we've been a soft touch. Just take the channel as an example. We've allowed tens of thousands of undocumented migrants, some have even called them illegal immigrants, haven't they, of course, to enter this country. We've hardly deported any of them. We spend £4.7 million a day, apparently, housing channel migrants and asylum seekers in hotels. This is comprised of £3.5 million for hotels, 25,000 asylum seekers as well, largely made up of channel migrants, and, of course, £1.2 million for the 12,000 Afghan refugees evacuated from Kabul. If you scale this up, that would amount to £1.7 billion over the year and represents more than four times the 8,000 asylum seekers housed in hotels at the beginning of last year. It's a lot of money, it's a lot of people, it's a lot of resources, it's a lot of hotel rooms, isn't it? Well, apparently there isn't enough social housing and that's why we have to put them in these hotels. So on top of all of that, I'm sure we're all feeling the pinch at the moment as well, aren't we? Personally, gas bills, electricity, the cost of living in general. Many of us feel a lot poorer than we did a couple of years ago. And that's not going to get any better anytime soon, is it? So, with all that in mind, do you think we should take in Ukrainian refugees? On paper, as a nation, we have a lot in common with Ukrainians. They are a Christian country. They share a lot of the same values and norms as we do. We have quite a similar culture, as it were. I think it will be very interesting to see what Germany does, won't it? Merkel, of course, through her country, indeed the continent's borders open, when there was a conflict in the Middle East. Will Germany do the same now that there's a conflict in Europe? So I'll finish now how I started, by throwing it over to you. Do you think we should take Ukrainian refugees? Do you feel as though Britain is full? Do we have a moral duty to take them? Where do you stand? Because this is a question that's going to be asked a lot in the coming weeks and months.